Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and today we are going to discuss about running PowerShell on a Linux operating system. So this is really interesting to see that Microsoft is enabling their ecosystems not just running in the Microsoft operating system but moving to Linux, Mac and other operating systems apart from Windows. And this is done for a reason. Because Microsoft is moving everything from the on-premises to cloud, this is really important for all the modern operating systems like Linux, Mac and Windows operating system to run their Azure platform using PowerShell. And we all know that PowerShell is the most key driving factor for Azure of Microsoft and you can just do one single command to just deploy your services on the Azure and you can deploy the container using PowerShell in the Azure as well as in the on-premises. So all these are happening because of PowerShell. So PowerShell is a key tool for Microsoft to deploy and do all of them to the cloud as well as in the on-premises. So this is really, really a very important move by Microsoft to move PowerShell, a key component of Microsoft, into all these operating systems. We know that Windows 10 operating system has bash of Ubuntu in our operating system. If you have the Windows 10 anniversary edition updated, you can see that there is a bash running on Windows. And this is also very, very helpful because you can perform a Linux kind of operation on the particular bash on Windows. And that exactly is happening right now. Now the intrinsic part of the PowerShell is moved to other platforms as well. So let's not really talk more about that, jump into how the PowerShell is gonna look like in our Ubuntu operating system. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to start installing the PowerShell into our machine. So this is the Ubuntu 16.04 LTE version and I'm just going to go to the Firefox and I'm going to do a fresh installation here. So if you come to this terminal, open terminal, and if you try to type PowerShell, you can see that the PowerShell command not found. That's the exception we're getting you here. So if we try to run this PowerShell right now by installing it, you can see that the command will... So I'm just going to go to the Google and I want to search for PowerShell for Linux. So this is going to take us to a Git repo. Alright, and now if we go to the third link here, PowerShell for every system. So this is going to take us to the Git repo of the PowerShell. And you can see that the PowerShell 6.0, which is going to be released right now, which is an alpha stage right now, is going to support the Ubuntu operating system, CentOS, Mac OS, and also the Dockers and everything. So it's going to support everything out of the box. And if we go to the Ubuntu 16.04 right now, if we go to the instructions, you can see that how to install PowerShell alpha version, you can see it is an alpha version right now, into your Ubuntu operating system. So basically, the package is currently in a dev format. So if we go to the releases page, you can see there are different versions of alpha PowerShell available over here. And the one which we are interested in is PowerShell for Ubuntu 16.04, right? So what we can do is we can just download this into our machine right now. I'm going to save it. So once it is fully downloaded, then we can just point the particular path and then we can start installing. There is another way as well. If you just move this page a little bit over here, there is a command here, bash, and you can just give the curl this one, this script, the download.sh script is basically going to do the exact same thing that we are going to do right now. So if I just go over here, you can see that this script is going to download from the releases and it's going to take which version of the operating system it is. And then based upon the operating system, it's going to install the PowerShell for you. So I'm not going to run this particular script right now. Maybe once it is fully downloaded, we can just do that manually. So I'm just going to wait for the download to complete. So once the download is done, I'll be back. Alright, seems like the download is done. So I'm just going to do a show all download folder and it is actually sitting in my downloads folder right now. So I'm going to close this and let's do this. Let's go to the terminal. So I'm just going to close the
browser and I'm gonna go to the terminal and let's do an LS you can see there is a downloads folder so what if I just go to the downloads and then if I do an LS all right there is the PowerShell alpha version which we downloaded right now is available over here so let me go to the Firefox so for installing we actually have to run this particular sudo dpkg hyphen i powershell all this version right so i'm just going to copy this and in order to run this you actually have to give the path of dev file so we are already in the downloads folder so if i just hit enter it's going to ask me for the password so if i give this it's going to unpack the powershell for you and then we can just do sudo app get install hyphen f so now it's going to install the PowerShell for your Linux operating system. That's it. The installation is fully done right now. You can see that we just did a very, very simple download of 38 MB. And now if I just do PowerShell, let's see what's going to happen. There we go. Now we are in the PowerShell prompt. Can you see that we have something called as PS? So if you have an information or if you have already worked on a PowerShell, you will know that PowerShell always start with the PS and the PowerShell's basic command something like maybe if I just do a get process Wow it's running you can see that it's showing all the running process of your machine something like this and maybe if you want to get just the BIOS set or something like that for a process name so I can just do get process hyphen name of uh, maybe BIOS set and if it enter you can see that all the process with the BIOS it is being displayed in here right and what if I want to just get the watchdog or VM stat all those information I can easily get that as well get process name VM stat yay there we go and now if what if I want to write something on the host right host hello execute automation there we go. And what if I want to do a string interpolation or something like this? Message is equal to again and just do write host of dollar message. Hit enter. Yay. Hello exit automation again. So everything is kind of working. What if I do a get date? There we go. You're showing us the date as well. And what if I just do something like get service oops no the services is not there because the service concept itself is not there in the next operating system so it's not gonna work out though which is okay and what if I want to out the process by piping in to a uh, directory something like this can I yeah there we go so what if I go to the downloads and here is the process.txt wow everything seems to be working which is really really nice and if i just open something like a browser and if i open something else maybe this setting and if i just do a get process again get process to there we go and now you can just do a compare object maybe I can just do this uh, get process to uh, okay get process and current process is equal to get process and now if I just try to close some of the window this browser and this window and maybe this as well and now again new process is equal to get process and now I can just do a compare object of what is there compare object of the reference object is going to be the dollar current process and difference object of new process so it's also showing me the compare object as well you can see that the firefox was opened 
and there was a settings was opened and there is something else is also opening so it's also showing what are the different kinds of process difference which was there before so i could see that the compare object is working the get process is working you can just pipe and out the process into a text editor or something like that so everything is working fine and pretty much like we are doing a full-blown powershell on a linux operating system which is great so this is going to be a real future for microsoft at least for 2017 next year is going to be a real real awesome year for microsoft i guess because we could see there are so many great things are happening in Microsoft and this is really great to see that all the operating systems are going to join hand and work with Microsoft soon. So once again guys, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.